all those things we had to practice and learn, uh, basically, in Mercury Gemini, and finally we built the spacecraft that allowed us to go to the moon, called Apollo. So from one person in Mercury, two in Gemini, and three now in the Apollo spacecraft, we lifted off and went to the moon. I'm a very lucky, I've told a couple of you back in 1960, I got to meet John Kennedy. He was campaigning for the presidency, and he came from my through my little state of West Virginia, Tracy and I are both from West Virginia, campaigning. And they didn't give him much of a chance in those days because he was a Catholic. You can't elect a Catholic as president of the United States. How are we gonna do that? We came to West Virginia, which is about 4% Catholic population, and won about 80% of the popular vote. So the rest of America said, maybe this is not a problem. <laughs> so a year later, we know it wasn't because he was a, nominated and elected as president. I had the foresight, I guess you could say, to get his autograph, which uh, he signed for me. I gave to my son later on in the years. Now he's up to, he's got maybe 40 or more than 40 of our 50 or so presidents since he started that. I gave him, I had gotten all of them since Kennedy and started off his collection. So it was a wonderful opportunity for me to meet John Kennedy. I'm very sad when we lost him. What a sad day that was. To, in America to lose John Kennedy. So we moved to the Mercury and the Gemini with, and finally got to the Apollo Bureau, which we needed three people in the Apollo, scrap, Apollo spacecraft to actually go to the moon. Three people would get there in the command module. Uh, two would get in the lunar lander and go down and make the landing while one stayed in the command module. And then the two would come up and join and they would all come back to Earth together. So it took three people to do those lunar landings. And the first one was Apollo 11.